Wagwan viewers and subs, welcome back to class. In today's video, based on requests that I have to do videos masking up the car, well, today we just have something small here. We're gonna be painting this door along with the fender and the bumper, but those are gonna be painted off the car. And then I'm gonna be doing a burning right here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to mask off the car for paint and for a burning also. The first things first guys, when it comes to masking, you wanna make sure that your surrounding areas is clean. That's also gonna determine how clean your paint job come out. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that in these are the areas that you're gonna put the tape, they're all clean. Otherwise it, it will prevent the paint from the tape from sticking properly. When you open inside the door, I already blew this out and clean it up. You wanna make sure these um, areas, just give them a nice wipe down. Also in these are the areas. And then down here where you're gonna put your tape. So now that we got that out of the way, when it comes to masking, the rule is mask off everything that you don't want to paint. That's the simple rule, mask off everything that you don't want to paint. So to start masking, you wanna open the door. You can put the tape down here like this, or use a piece of paper to cover here so that the overspray doesn't get in. Or you can choose to go ahead and do bat masking. Now, bat masking is the easier route, and that's what I will do. Now, before we forget, we're doing a burning here on the pillar. So you wanna make sure that you secure this area first before you, close, you finish taping the door and close it. Otherwise, you're gonna have to take off back all the masking paper. So you can run the foam line along this line here, or you can do bat masking, which is what I'll do. The foam tape is quite expensive. And then once you run the tape here, you would close the door, but let's finish up the rest. So let's go ahead and continue with our bat mask in here. And I'll be doing the same bat masking around the four corners. So you don't wanna be cutting the, the masking tape every second, so you just cut a nice long piece that can stretch and cover almost the whole section. Yep. Then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close the door. Uh, while you're doing the bat mask and you wanna make sure that the tape is not over on this side of the panel because you might have some problems when you go to peel the tape off later after you're done painting. But that we're done with that, we're gonna move on up to this section. So we're gonna put tape inside here and then put tape on the outside of here. Now let me show you what happened with the last painter who painted this car. They put the tape line on the panel down here instead of over in here or even even more up into the crease of it because once the molding goes on you won't see it but the right way is to put it on the back of the panel here this is a blend panel by the way i'm not supposed to be fixing stuff but since i'm going to be painting here anyway i decide to just go ahead and fix it Now we're gonna have to secure all the areas that we use the bat mask and tape at, so I'll show you that in a little bit. Now, if your fingers can't reach in here, just get something small enough that can go inside to make sure that the masking tape is completely secured. Just like that. Now we're gonna have to secure all the tape. So usually I'll do something like this, overlap it on there, and then tape it to the glass. Because sometimes what can happen is when you're 
putting on the plastic or the masking paper, you can end up pulling up the tape and then you're stuck trying to fix it. And then I'll do the same thing here. Now, I'm not saying that you absolutely have to do it this way because I know um, material is expensive. And then I'll do the same thing up here on the pillar. And I'm just gonna pull it away from the top of the edge of where I'm going to be painting. You don't wanna pull it too hard. You just wanna give it a slight release so that it's not going to bridge. Now when you're masking or sanding for a, a burning, up here we stop here at a thousand grit and the whole thing here was sanding with 800. So 800 all the way up and then we stop off here in this area with a thousand. So you can always use some foam tape or you can do a bat masking with your tape. You can always go further up here and do your tape like this, or you can just decide to use no tape at all, but when you put the plastic, you leave it open so the overspray goes in if you wanna do it that way. I try to contain the overspray as much as I can, so I will just put some tape here. And then once I'm done, I'm buffing just this little area. So now that we got the first step down, and we're not gonna forget to put something in here. You can use the tape or the foam. I'll use the foam tape and kind of secure that so the overspray doesn't get in. Now it's time to get the plastic on here. When you get your plastic down, make sure it's nice and tight. I'm gonna make sure you get a nice even spread in here so that once you paint in your your plastic is not flopping all over the place and I'm just gonna go ahead and secure this area pull it pull it down nice and tight Then you can either wrap it with some tape or you can just do a knot. It's up to you. And this is the 3M masking plastic. Basically all you're doing is cutting about 50% on where you tape. Try not to put too much pressure on it because you might cut the panel or the glass instead. So you can just cut it right in the middle or you can cut it closer towards the panel that you are painting. And then you just remove the plastic off of the area that you want to paint. It's always best guys to use a nice sharp razor blade to get this done as efficient and quick as possible. And then you just go over and do the same thing. Mask off all four corners. Now this is what I was talking about. You can choose to not use any tape and just leave the plastic like this. And then the overspray will just kind of and go up under there, but I don't want the overspray in there, so I'll use it. And there it is, guys. We're all done with the masking. Now, what I can tell you guys after you finish masking, just double check all the way around to make sure that it's sealed properly so that you don't have any lifting just like this here. You see how my tape is lifting? So you wanna make sure that you get it to secure properly. That way the overspray won't get onto the 
other side of the car where you're gonna have to spend time trying to get it off. So, and the foam tape here, you just roll it up in, in a ball size that fits in here and seal off the hole. And that's it for today's video, guys. I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching. Thank you so much for your time. Consider subscribing to the channel and any question that you might have about masking, leave them in the comment section so I can get to them as soon as possible. So until next time, class dismissed.